Well, hello, folks. Today we're going to be looking at the 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 Tenet Spyrex, another one of the uh, sisters of Parvo's Tenet weapons. Uh, another pistol. This is a new weapon. This is not a Tenet version of an already existing weapon. It's just it's a new one, and it, it's kind of neat. It's you know, it's a single target projectile weapon, basically, and. Um, it does have a uh, radial attack, but it's very small. It's only two meters, so it's gonna, only gonna like hit stuff that's uh, if you shoot an enemy and there's not an enemy like standing right next to it, then that enemy is also gonna get hit by it. Here, I'll show you. If I group them like this, then it's like bam. Yeah, they all of them are they, they take some heat damage and the stun and stuff. Um, but not a whole lot of damage, not compared to to this thing. But I'm just saying it has a radial attack. But you can, when you build the weapon, you can mostly ignore that and build it as if it was a single target weapon. Uh, it's my recommendation. Now the question is, um, does this thing have a place in the meta? A a single target gun? And my answer is yes, yes it does. Um, because, as you can see here... We are one-shotting things. Um, these are some pretty big, beefy enemies, and it's just... It's one shot. One shot. One shot. One shot. I can just go up to them and... Go BOW! Gone. Deleted. Deleted. Gone. Sometimes you have to wait a bit... For the slash procs to do the trick. But most of the time... You don't have to wait. You just you just point this thing at the enemy, and then they, they stop existing. So that's kind of neat when it comes to uh, stuff like just you know um, acolytes or whatever. Works like a charm because ah because you know they don't even know what hit them and. Um, Acolytes all, always have that problem, otherwise, that you can't uh, stack status effects on them. They're, like, capped at four. I don't know if you noticed that when you try to fight against Acolytes. You can only get, like, four heat procs on them, four viral procs or whatever. That's how they work. Which is why, instead of going for, like, status procs on them, why not just go with something like this, which is, which is raw damage. Just, it's just raw damage. And it's also, um, hemorrhage is a very important mod because this weapon uh, is one of those weapons that has a uh, guaranteed impact procs on on the direct hit not on the radial attack on the direct hit you get impact procs uh always always and that's when we're going to come to the build here that means uh you can run the hemorrhage mod you get this from uh you know running railjack missions doing all the bonus objectives you can get this mod. Hemorrhage is what it's called for pistols. And um, internal bleeding is what it's called for uh, rifles. And this thing makes impact a good status effect. And it makes impact a good status effect by turning impact into slash. <laughs> because slash is the actual good uh, status effect. So... Um, what it does is, if you have like a low fire rate, this this gun is at 2.33, it's right below 2.5, which is great. Means you have a 70% chance to turn your impact status effects into slash procs. Which deal a whole lot of damage that basically bypass enemy defenses. Uh, and for, for this mod to really shine, uh, you want weapons that have guaranteed impact procs. Stuff like the Tenet Spyrex. Stuff like the uh, the Kuva Chakur, for example, also guaranteed impact procs. Stuff like the the uh, the Fulmin. It's great. Uh, it's such a huge damage increase for those weapons, and for this one too. Um, besides that, besides that, I've built this one a bit differently from how I've seen some other. Um, uh, videos show how to build this weapon. Uh, for one, I'm gonna tell you right away, 
if you have a max rank uh, secondary merciless or whichever arcane you choose to use. Uh, chuck Hornet Strike. Don't use Hornet Strike. Diminishing returns, people. You're stacking the same damage type on top of the same damage type. And it's just not very significant. You don't need Hornet Strike if you have a max rank secondary merciless. So that frees up a mod slot right away. We do want Galvanized Diffusion, we do want Galvanized Shot. Galvanized Shot is great on this, you get the Condition Overload effect. Yes, people, this mod works now. Don't worry about it, it works. They fixed it. Uh, it also gives you status chance, so you get the nice beefy plus 100% or above 100%, so you can apply multiple status effects on each shot. Very good. And uh, other than that, it's just, you know, crit damage, crit chance. I like lethal momentum, I like uh, increased projectile speed, it makes it easier to land headshots, which is nice with this gun, because this gun has another little effect that you get increased reload speed when you headshot enemies, so that's that's nice, because otherwise it's got a pretty pretty slow le reload. So, so it's, yeah, lethal momentum. Uh, you could run with like the corrupted mod for, for crits instead. Uh, what's that? Uh, Creeping Bullseye? Yeah, I haven't even upgraded. Ha ha ha. I wouldn't recommend on this one. Uh, the reason being that um, it's going to be such a small ch change in the crit chance. It, with a macro max rank Creeping Bullseye, you're going to go from like 74% crit chance to 78% crit chance. It's a very small difference for this gun. And I don't like the decreased fire rate that you get as a result. I want to keep it as close to 2.5 as possible. So I prefer Prime Pistol Gambit here. Um, as for the um, the actual sort of damage type, I mean, I'm running a Panzer Valpophila, so it's spreading viral stacks for me. I don't need that. Instead, I like uh, beefing up the damage. And, you know... I know people are talking about what you're going to use. Are you going to use impact for more impact procs occasionally? No. No, I don't think that's the right way to go. Um, I don't... Like, look, people. When you get that slash proc from the hemorrhage, you want it to pack a punch. You want it to be big, beefy, and juicy. I have innate heat damage on this thing. And then I have more heat damage on this thing and it's who cares who cares people it doesn't matter you just want the big big beefy damage number and the crits and then you want the hemorrhage and that's all you need to kill people and you know that's nice and all with uh, with all of the viral and the whatnot and, and all of that but i'm just I'm, I'm front loading the damage instead so you know yeah sure viral and you spread viral and then the second shot you do do more damage but what if i just you know do this who cares if they've got viral stacks on them when i just do this i'm just front loading all of the damage and hemorrhage is doing the trick on whatever just doesn't die immediately it's all you need, people. It's all you need. Corrupted Heavy Gunners, level 185. Pop. That's that's how you do it. And, uh... Yeah. Acolytes stare, da stare them down in, in their face and just click this button. And then they go they go bye-bye. Uh, so it's a cool weapon. It's a cool weapon. Uh, obviously, the debate right now in... Warframe when it comes to like v what is viable and what isn't um, the debate usually right now is like AOE versus single target uh, Everyone is running with area of effect weapons stuff like the Kuva Brahma the Tenet Envoy the Proboscis Cernos Yeah, you wanna you have one of these room clearing things a gun that can just explode and and kill 50 enemies at the same time and it's just always going to be more efficient than something like this. A single target weapon, because that's what this is, very pronounced. This is a single target weapon. You point at an enemy and you click the button and one enemy is going to die. So the question is, like, does the does single target uh, weapons uh, have a place in the meta right now? W w do you want to run this? Uh, I think you do. I mean, you can always run a big explodey thing like a Kuva Ogris or whatever as your primary weapon. But there are there are situations where that's not gonna 
do the trick. So you maybe want to switch between your weapons. Maybe you want to pull this out for something, something like an acolyte that you can just unload in, into the face of an acolyte, and and then they go, they go bye bye. That's something you could do. Uh, or maybe you're just one of those people who don't like the big explodey weapons. Maybe you just like having a bit more finesse and style in your gameplay, and you like uh, precision and and, and feeling. Uh, competent or be just you know sniping enemies with headshots and stuff like that if you do then the, the tenet spyrex is absolutely a weapon for you uh because this thing is an as far as single target weapons go this thing is a monster this thing is gonna just wipe whatever you point it at um so it, so if that's a, a sort of gun you like if that's a sort of gunplay that you enjoy when you play warframe uh, then this is one of the best weapons for it. It's it's styling and profiling. Like I said, since it has guaranteed impact procs, I absolutely, absolutely say that like hemorrhage is mandatory. You need this mod to really bring out like the the uh, uh, the, the the potency of this weapon and just make sure it can do what it can do. Other than that, you can build it maybe a couple of different ways. But you gotta get hemorrhage in there. You gotta. If you're gonna run the Tenet Spyrex, then you gotta go get that hemorrhage mod. Um, other than that, that's the build in a nutshell. If you think that's cool, go get it. And I will see you again tomorrow for something completely different.